Born in Salt Lake City in 1915, Richard Condy Sanders became the youngest Brigadier General of World War II when he was given the rank by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt in 1944. Only General George Armstrong Custer had received the star of a general at an earlier age than Sanders at the time. His accomplishment was noted in magazines of the time. The highlight of his distinguished military career coincided with a crucial period in American history, the Allied fight against the Nazis in North Africa, led by German Field Marshal Erwin Rommel, also known as the Desert Fox. Brigadier General Sanders was called the bombardment brain of the 9th Air Force. He led a B-24 bomber group against Rommel's forces in the Western Desert Campaign in Egypt and Libya in 1942. Sanders and his squadron carried out dozens of bombing raids in the desert and also attacked enemy shipping in the Mediterranean. Now Air Marshal Tedder launched a furious assault upon Italian islands off the Tunisian coast. By June 13, the last ones were taken. The conquest of North Africa was complete. Participating in the famous Battle of El Alamein, Sanders and his squadron helped turn the tide against Axis forces in Africa. Reflecting on the Battle of El Alamein, Winston Churchill declared, Before Alamein, we never had a victory. After Alamein, we never had a defeat. In January of 1944, Sanders was named Administrative Officer of the 9th Bomber Command in the European Theater of Operations and in November became Chief of Staff of the 9th Bomber Command in France. In August of 1945, Sanders became Commanding General of the 99th Bomber Wing in Germany. After the war, Sanders returned to the States to serve out the remainder of his career, which included a stint as Commanding General of the U.S. Army Air Force's Personnel Training Center at Kearns, Utah. For his service and bravery, General Sanders received two Silver Stars, the Distinguished Service Medal, two Distinguished Flying Crosses, and the Air Medal with two Oak Leaf Clusters. Brigadier General Richard Condy Sanders was inducted in 1996 into the Utah Aviation Hall of Fame as one of its charter members. He died in 1976 at his home in Maryland, Today he is remembered for his bravery and accomplishments in World War II, as well as his later distinguished career in the Air Force.